Welcome, this is my vlog, Kuba Kafan, devoted to the raw, real, and uncomfortable realities we don't usually share on social media, but I am sharing. I'm Diane, and today I'm talking about self-employment. I actually wrote a blog post on my blog, overachievermom.com, about how wonderful self-employment can be for mothers, because mothers get that flexibility to control your schedule, which is great, and a lot of other good aspects, but I didn't really talk about the nightmare aspects of being self-employed and there are many yes here we go with the banking nightmares there's just a couple of the checkbooks yeah they're spread around most of them are downstairs in my office they take up an entire box there's so many of them um, my main business is managing property there's about 30 rental properties I manage and I have to have oh about 10 different accounts for those different properties in addition to a couple of other accounts to keep track of our other self-employment income and that doesn't even take into account the inconsistency of the income yes that's why my office is a mess, or at least I think that's why, because I'm always trying to keep track of which income comes from where, goes to where, which bills to pay. And some months you have more than enough, and other months you don't have any at all, or you lose money. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, you work all month and have no money. That's part of being self-employed. And here's another aspect. Here it is, the office downstairs. Doesn't that seem wonderful right in your own home? It follows you everywhere. Your job is always there haunting you. That's my husband's office. That's my office. We're both self-employed. And we can get up in the morning, come right downstairs, and start to work right away in our pajamas. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah, well, not really every day. But that's what ends up happening seven days a week the kids are complaining you're always working you're always on the computer we want them off of electronics but we're always on the computer working and yes a couple of other devices that follow me around of course the emails the texts the phone calls seven days a week non-stop when you're running your own business but I think the worst part this is my son's room and he's the one that's constantly berating us for not having a quote-unquote real job Yes, when your kids are teenagers, they will think that you're a loser because you don't have a real job unless you can buy them everything they want. And that's what he says. Oh, because we're driving old cars and because he can't get the latest electronics, then therefore being self-employed doesn't work and we should find a real job. But in fact, I have tried. Yes, I've sent out many resumes. Oh, I don't know, probably over 100 in the last year or so especially when my husband's main client dropped off and we lost a lot of income. And I did manage to get about seven part-time jobs. I'm still working about four of them now in addition to running our two family businesses. But alas, finding a full-time job in this economy, not an easy thing. And that's why my answer to the kids is get your own money. Yes, he's 15, he's old enough to work, and there it is, the lawnmower. We taught him how to use it, and now he's making money mowing lawns. That's good. He's also making money as an umpire and in the past made money as a caddy. So these endeavors are all great because they're bringing income in for him and for our family, but it's self-employed as well. They're not full-time W-2 jobs, but next summer when he's 16 and he can get his first full-time W-2 job earning minimum wage, he'll see just how exciting that really is.